There's a harmony around us and it livens up our soul, the beat. Welcome back to Beat Chatter. Chris Cavallaro here. Michael is here this time. Yes, and we're back, back again, talking about everything and anything music. So let's get to it, Michael. Are you All ready? I'm ready, Chris. Let's do this. All right. Like we do so. Let's go, let's take it easy for uh, for this week. So, uh -huh. name an artist or a band you became a huge fan of. That very first well, band you really Believe loved. it or not, Chris, when I was young, growing up with my mom, because I lived around her most of my time, I right? barely knew my dad too much, but I have to go with the Beach Boys because there's a reason for that. My mom loved to go to races. She loved to drive fast. That was nice. That, that was back in the early 80s, 60s, 70s. And there's a reason because the Beach Boys played a lot of racing songs, but I have to go with California Girls, mm -hmm. In My Room, Good Vibrations. So the Beach Boys actually never had one bad song. Mm -hmm. Another one that I like is Pink Floyd. That's another weird band that I, but there's a reason because I saw that band, not band, but I saw the Exorbitory Light Show, and it was the dark side of the oh, moon. Oh, okay. And I fell in love with that album just because when I was a kid, just how I love those two bands right there. So. Excellent. Well, those are perfect choices. And, and if any of you agree, you can always respond to them. All in all, you're just another brick in the wall. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so... <laughs> I mean, I grew up with a lot of the oldies, and I'm with you on the Beach Boys. Huge fan of the Beach oh, Boys. Yes. Rolling Stones, and you had the classic oh, rock, yes. Pink Floyd. Yes, you got that. Led Zeppelin. But being surrounded by a lot of oldies music, well, with all due respect, there was one song that played on the radio when we would frequent in Vegas, because my grandma retired in Vegas, and she's my grandma from my, from my father's side. So we would visit her about two to three times a month. So when we did, we would listen to a nice little radio station called FM 98 and 99, nice. the highway stations, every time we drive by Mojave Desert. And that one song, which kind of went, na, 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 Head Over Heels by... Tears for, for fears. fears. They are wonderful in concert. They are amazing. So that is my big, my biggest band that I'm a huge fan of, and I, I still am. And it's amazing. So while we're here in the '80s, I know you're, yeah, Beach Boys, Pink Floyd, and I'm yeah. sure you're fans of the female artists. Oh, I know. I got <laughs> two of them, which what we were talking so, about earlier. First one of one. is Madonna. Once again, it kind of brings back my mom because she went to school with Madonna. Ooh, so she knew nice. her, but she wasn't like nobody back then. Right. But still, she got to know her. Now, I, I don't know if she's 80s or 90s where she is, but my right. second female art has to be Mariah Carey. Just 90s. the voice, the way she sings is so... Like, she could raise that voice high. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you can continue with your admiration for Mariah Carey. Because you're never too far away. <laughs> so, since we're on the topic of female artists, I had a bunch of them. I admire the female vocals from Petula Clark to Diana Ross. Ooh. So, those ladies, and the ladies are just uh, fantastic. They're very talented. The one who really, really captured my heart, and I can't believe she actually captured my heart, Debbie Gibson. Oh, man. oh my God. I said to myself, you know, in my lifetime, Lord knows how long I'm going to live. I just want one date, just one, and we can never see each other again. Just one day hanging out with Debbie Gibson. Now, this year, at the time we're filming this, it's 2017. Okay, now, mm -hmm. if we had a time machine and we were able to physically, against the laws of physics, go back to the 80s. Now, the 80s, of course, no cell phones, uh, very little it, limited So are you internet. talking about like A-Track? Yeah. Man, because that's what they used to have back yeah. then. And the internet, 
wasn't available on the average household, so very little limited at internet access. Oh, no free music? Yeah. Darn, how am I supposed <laughs> to play my phone, man? Right. Come on. So let's go back to that time. If we were to live in the 80s right now, what song or what artist would you play and blast in Definitely. your car? It would have to be Journey, Don't Stop Believing. My favorite song, something you could rock out, something you could sing, something you could get the whole family. I guarantee it's going to be singing. Journey's just awesome. Come on. And if you were to blast that into your car, just know that uh, I will come to you with open arms. Okay. Oh, anyway, so that's a perfectly legit choice. And, of course, if this were the 80s again, of course, I would blast Tears for Fears okay. and then... You know, a bunch of, especially The Rock, you can't go wrong with Van Halen. Oh, huh. Come on. You might as well jump. jump. Right? <laughs> yeah. God, of course, I don't think he could jump now in his time. Right. Age right now. Yeah. So, with all due respect to those artists, the one I would love to play and blast, and I'm sure a lot of you folks would love to blast one right now, The Cars. Bam. Shake yeah. it up. Just what just what I needed. Just what I need. Magic. Magic. Mm-hmm. And w there was another one. Drive. Drive. Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Mm -hmm. Hey, oh yeah. Those are excellent tracks. Yes. So that's our show for this week. Those are those are our topics for this week. If you would like to respond to any of these topics, please leave a comment. We will discuss them on a future episode. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next one. That's a wrap. Yeah.